I think steroids are as American as apple pie. Dang it! You're watching Muscle Sport Magazine. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually about to go work out. For those of you that don't know me personally, I work out, you know, usually at 3, 4 in the morning. I'm sitting here. It's dark. I'm at the track. My girlfriend's running the track. Just what she does. She's a pain in the fucking ass. I'm going to try to do a video, but it's, it's not easy because I'm holding the fucking camera. And remember, where's my phone? Here's my phone, okay? I only have a flip phone. So I don't have... The same kind of phone most of you guys have. I have a I have a convoy, so I'm not doing this with no fucking iPhone. All right, I'm doing it holding it my fucking self. This is a fucking cat. Okay, I'm sitting here. It's fucking now. It's three fifteen in the morning. I figured I'm gonna make a video when my girlfriend runs on a track outside. Even though we're going to the gym, she doesn't like to do the treadmill. She likes to do the track. Come on, we we'll can figure out. All right, now listen to me. Some of you guys are talking about smoking pot, and how do I feel about smoking pot, and what's it like? I can tell you this, that in this industry, there's a lot of bodybuilders who party, whether it's smoking pot, or doing hardcore drugs as cokeheads, there's a lot. You'd be shocked. There's top five guys in Olympia that are fucking potheads, cokeheads, you know what I'm saying? It's been going on for a long time. Now... One of the guys who was asking was talking about Arnold, because in the movie, Pumping Iron, at the end, Arnold's laying there, numero uno, smoking the joint. And I can tell you right now, for a fact, that Arnold was not a pot smoker. Alright? Now, I know that there's rumors that supposedly every once in a while, burn some trees with, uh, with Tommy Chong and all that stuff. I can tell you right now, if he did it, it was only a hit. Or was only for to act like he's cool. Because I'm telling you, I have close friends, Leon Brown, I mean, even Rick Dreesen will tell you, Arnold was not a partier like that. He was a party type guy. He was the first guy at the party and the first guy to leave. All right? He never drank more than a beer, maybe, maybe a beer and a half or so. He never got drunk. He always made sure that he was in control. I can tell you that firsthand. This isn't some article, this isn't some fucking bullshit. I'm telling you firsthand, because from guys who I know are his best friends, all right? Guys who hung out with him. Leon Brown used to eat with him every day. They were best, best friends. To this day, Arnold still, you know, takes care of Leon when Leon comes to the Arnold Classic. is a lot. There's a whole shit looking. But I can tell you that Arnold was not a party. It was not a pothead. He was the life of a party. He liked to have fun. He liked to dance. He would have a drink or so, but he would not get fucking drunk. Because, see, me, I don't drink. I never drank a beer in my life. I never smoked weed. I never did. It has nothing to do with bodybuilding, though. Has to do with my father, never drank, never smoked, you know, never did any of that stuff. So neither did I. I've never even tasted coffee or tea. I do take caffeine, okay? I take fucking ephedrine. I love all that shit. But I can tell you now, I've never been high in my life. I'm Italian. I've never even tasted wine. I've never tasted beer. I've never tasted any of that stuff. All right? I won't smoke pot. I won't do anything. Now, I know people say, ah, come on, weed's not bad. It's, it's always got a bad rap. It's good for glaucoma. And bad, bad. Nobody's really taking weed for bad back and glaucoma. They do it because they want to party. Okay? Don't give me that shit. Very few people on this planet are doing that. All right? Don't give me that shit. I'm telling you, weed, if you smoke weed and you get a buzz, you get high or you relax, it fucking mellows you out, that means it alters your thinking. And if it alters your thinking, it means it can possibly take control, okay? A lot of people get real mellow when they smoke weed. They sit back, <laughs> yeah, man. Well, guess what? That's, that's affecting your thinking. It's affecting your mind. And for me, that's a no-go. Because I like to be in charge at all times, okay? We go to clubs, I drive. We go out places, I always drive, all right? Because when I want to go, I never want to go early. I'm always, I stay till they close. But what I'm saying is, I control my own ship. Nobody else controls my ship. The only drug I ever did 
with steroids. Now, you guys have been lied to about a lot of shit with these bodybuilders. If you think that they live a clean, pure lifestyle, you're out of your fucking mind. All right? Some do, but a lot don't. All right? And I can tell you this. I'll tell you, just to show you how much you've been bullshitted. All right? You know, what you see in the media is not what is. Okay? Just because you saw Arnold smoking that fucking, you know, little skinny little joint. That was because cameras were rolling. Just like the whole story about his father dying and him not going to the fucking funeral because he, he had the missile. That's all bullshit. That never happened. That's never, ever happened. Okay? None of that shit happened. It's all bullshit. He said a lot of stuff for the camera. And he did a lot of things for the camera. You, you guys don't realize it, that you get bullshitted here. There's a, what you see in the cameras. That, dude, I know that I've been there where, with Robbie Durand, who used to be in charge of muscular development, was editor-in-chief, okay, before the losers that are there now. And I can tell you right now, Robbie used to tell me stories all the time. Sometimes I'd be with him to, with, on the film. At one time, there was one of the faces... Of our magazine of muscular development. I'm not going to tell you who it was, okay? But this person was one of the top, he's one of the top bodybuilders, he's still one of the top bodybuilders. He was making a protein shake, okay? And he opens up the brand of protein that he happens to be the spokesperson for. And he took the scoop out and he puts it in the blender and they cut tape. He says, Card, right, cut. He took the whole fucking tub, he threw it. Threw it right in the garbage. True story. Swear to God. Robbie says to him, what you do that for? He goes, oh, that shit, it's too much. It gives me gas. It affects my stomach and this and that, the other thing. I don't even use that shit. I get boxes. I give it to the guys at the gym. You see, he takes out another of his own fucking blend that, some, that he gets made up. He dumps out the shit that's in the blender, all right, and he puts his own stuff in. Now. Robbie, you know, Robbie took the tub of protein right out of the garbage and kept it for himself. All right, it was a brand new tub of, 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 of a super, super famous brand. All right, stuff that's a hot seller, even a GNC. But he wouldn't eat it. But he made you a blend. So they started rolling tape again. He blended it up. He poured it in the thing and he drank it. And everybody's thinking, look at him. He's drinking that shake. You know, that's what he drinks. This is what I really do when I'm training for a show. And, you know, you see him drinking it. It, it, it. The bottom line is, it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. Even in the movie Bigger, Faster, Stronger, they expose some of that stuff. With the supplement companies, Christian whatever the hell his name is, or bovine, but whatever that guy's name is, you know, he got in a lot of trouble for exposing a lot of that stuff. Now he, I don't even know if he's in the industry anymore. You know what I mean? I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, you don't believe all the shit on these videos, and even with the weights and shit. Sometimes you'll see these guys lifting heavy weights and killing themselves, all right? But you know what? That's all for the video. If you think they train like that all year round, you got to see some of these guys. They're in the gym on a cable crossover talking to chicks and shit. I'm just telling you, not all, but some. Yeah, there's some real warriors out there. But the bottom line of what I'm trying to tell you guys, you can't believe everything you see. All right? It's, it's, you, you can't believe all the shit on these videos or that you see, that you see in movies. You can't believe it all because it's not true. I can tell you now about the pot smoking. Look, if you're a pot smoker and you want to start arguing with me, I'm not going to argue with you. That's your business. If you want to smoke pot, you go smoke pot. If you like drinking booze, you drink booze. Okay? If you like... Dude, the thing I don't understand is how these guys are all addicted to... A lot of them are addicted to, to their fucking Oxycontin and Percocets and, and Valium and all that shit. Dude, I could never do that shit. Dude, anything that makes me even tired or woozy or like this, fuck that shit. Makes me mellow, makes me sit there and like, in like a, uh, yeah. dude, it ain't for me. It ain't for me. I, I don't like anything that takes control away. And I don't recommend you guys doing that. But if you want to, if you're already into that shit and you like that shit, you're partying with Oxycontin, dude, you're out of your fucking mind. Heroin, you're out of your, dude, go, you're going to kill yourself. Somebody's going to read about you dying. I'm just telling you that now. Okay? My girlfriend, right here, died from heroin. You see, let's not hear about all this shit. I don't want to hear about it. She mixed Oxycontins and Percocet, you know, heroin, all that stuff. Anybody that likes that shit, you need help. If that's the case and you're watching this video, go get fucking help. And if you're smoking pot, 
Uh, God bless you, but I don't give a shit what you tell me. If you smoke weed and you feel you like that feeling it gives you, if it gives you a feeling, it affects your thinking. So don't tell me that it's 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 it doesn't it's non-addictive, not of not affecting. Cause, oh, I know it's addictive because I know fucking pro bodybuilders. I know a particular pro bodybuilder can't sleep without it. Could not go to bed without smoking weed. I'm just telling you. All right, look. You guys can argue about whatever you want to do. I can tell you this. Arnold lived a very clean life. Arnold lived a very, very clean life. He liked to grab ass more than he liked to... His idea of partying was dancing with chicks, getting it on, fucking getting late. All right? His idea wasn't getting fucking drunk somewhere. Yo, dude, I had like fucking 30 beers. I was puking and shit. I don't remember last night. That's not fun. Okay? That's not fun. Sitting there smoking a fucking... A big bag of weed and like... <laughs> That's not fun. Okay? Maybe to you it is. If that's you, that's fine. Like I said, if you're one of those guys with the Oxycontins and all that shit, you got a problem, go get help. Get help. Alright? I'm just telling you that now. Anyway, this is because, it, 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 you know, a question that was on my last video I just did. I just want you guys to know you're being bullshitted. Alright? Don't believe that shit from pumping iron. And don't believe when you watch these little videos, you know what I mean? It's by like DMD video. I'm telling you, it was all bullshit. Alright? Guy wasn't even drinking his own fucking protein blend. A blend that he's a fucking spokesman for. He drank another one. He fucking said that that gave him gas and bothered his stomach. So he threw it out. Greg Valentino for Muscle Sport Mag. I'm fucking around. You fucking momos. I got my eyes on you. No, really, I love you guys. There's a few of you fuckos, but let me tell you something. Look, keep writing fucking, put your shit down here. We'll make videos. We'll have fun together, all right? Greg Valentino, fuck off.